Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Airsoft and Shooting Sports, taking a look at the uh, more production ready version of the American Airsoft Factory Wabi version CQC rifle, the close quarters version. You guys may recall I did a kind of first look video at their uh, warehouse, their kind of assembly plant uh, here in uh, Utah and finally have a more production ready model version here in my hands. You may notice some differences before that one had a polymer MOE style handguard. This guy has a, an aluminum key mod style handguard. Uh, they're now working with a US based company uh, based out of Arizona that manufactures M-Lock and key mod handguards. So my test gun came with a key mod version. So we're going to be doing obviously a full review series on this gun. So you're not going to get everything in this video. You're going to have to kind of keep coming back mainly because a gun like this deserves a little bit more testing than I can just put into one video. So this initial video is going to be taking a look at some of the external features and explain kind of why this gun exists the way that it does. The whole idea behind this series is, to, or excuse me, behind this gun was to have a US built, uh, extremely realistic airsoft replica that's ready for training as well as for skirmish use. Uh, what it has is it uses a custom designed and manufactured gearbox setup. So you do have an AEG platform except for it is a blowback setup that uses a full, gets the whole bolt moving back in order to give you a little bit of recoil and to give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra realism there how it operates it is compatible with standard AEG magazines however you are able to have last round detection so it stops shooting when you're out of BBs and other features that you previously couldn't get on a uh, normal AEG type platform the receivers are manufactured in the United States handguards manufactured in the United States the gearboxes are all manufactured in the United States. Some of the components for them, uh, electronic components and stuff like that, are manufactured overseas, but they uh, are all put together here in the States. This guy has Magpul stock on it, real Magpul, not any knockoff stuff. And even the stuff like the pistol grip is actually custom designed. It's an A2 style grip, but you look, and it's just a little different, the texture and stuff like that. It's a little different because they didn't want to just take off the shelf items. They wanted to kind of do everything themselves. Um, the nice part about it is that you retain, for the most part, uh, compatibility with various AEG platform accessories. So I can put like a standard AEG motor grip on there if I didn't want the A2 style grip. Um, they come in either black or tan and that the color is depending on which uh, model you get. And I'll have links obviously in the information section below. Um, but externally, you have a gun that is very, very solid. Obviously, a full metal receiver. And again, these are manufactured, if my information is correct, if I recall correctly, they're actually manufactured by a real uh, firearm manufacturer um, that happens to, they did a contract run of these receivers uh, built to American Airsoft Factory specifications so that it is, you know, really from the ground up, this is a custom built gun. Uh, this is the short barrel version, the 10-inch version, and I actually have another upper for the long, the longer, the 14 and a half inch barrel version. Um, so I'm going to be doing a custom upper build on this, but let's do just, we're just going to be able to do a quick chrono test today. We're going to get some better range testing, we're going to get accuracy testing, all of that stuff is going to come, uh, but I do not have the ability to do that right this second uh, to a degree that you guys are going to be satisfied with. So this is just your first look at a more production ready version. Again. As I mentioned before, these are very premium guns and they have a very premium price. These things start at around $1,000 and that's as a skeleton kit. That's as just a receiver, the gearbox, the barrel, uh, the custom hop-up setup and things like that. You just have to throw all your own furniture on it. A model like this is going to be closer to twelve dollars or $1,300 when all is said and done. So these are very expensive rifles, but they are really designed for the upper echelon player who's looking for something unique that no one else has. You know, no one's running these things yet, uh, but they want the best realism, but out of a reliable AEG style platform. So let's go ahead, we'll do a quick chrono test on this, see what kind of consistency we get, and um, wrap this video up to the next video where we're actually gonna take a look at some of its more detailed performance. So thanks for watching. It's cold, it's snowy. Let's do just a couple test rounds before I freeze my fingers off.
coil is pretty good. I like the fact that you can use standard high caps with it, obviously. Let's chrono test it really quick, just to see what kind of velocities that we're getting. Okay, test it using 0 0.20 gram G&G BBs and x radar x radar chronograph. Three sixty two, three sixty. Oh, that was three fifty four before I cleared it. Three fifty eight, three fifty six, and three fifty eight. So even in cold velocities, which can sometimes cause a lot of uh, velocity instability, um, this is shooting pretty consistently, just plus or minus a couple of uh, FPS. Let's do a couple more just fun testing shots before we put it away till the next video. So for full operating instructions on how to use this thing, uh, you can check out that previous video, but just to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown, it operates really quite similar to a real AR-15. Put the magazine in, and you can see the BBs are fed up into there, then you just press the bolt release to let that bolt go forward. And then you shoot it, and when you run out of BBs, it will actually lock back. Let's see if we can get it to do that. This magazine is not the preferred magazine for it, but I didn't have my speed loader handy to do a mid cap, so we're gonna try it out with a high cap, see what it does. But it should lock back as soon as those BBs start, stop going into the chamber. So I didn't give it a full wind, so now it's empty, but you can see that it locks back on, uh, on an empty chamber. Really cool, I really like that function, especially with high cap magazines. That's something you didn't previously have. Um, so we're gonna be doing some more videos of this in the future, obviously. This is just a very kind of quick overview of what this is, who American Airsoft Factory is, um, and what you can kind of expect from them. We are going to be doing another video in the very near future with some long range testing because obviously uh, what kind of testing we're doing here in the very cold, very short backyard doesn't really give us the best idea of this thing's true performance. So um, stay tuned, there's gonna be another video on this thing coming up in the next, probably the next two weeks or so. I'm heading out of town for a little bit, but uh, we'll be getting back to this very soon. Thanks for watching.